on the trail radio here showing you and reminding you sometimes you do get what you pay for i have here a qyt ham radio and after hooking it up and playing around with a little bit it says that it should be producing 50 watts on vhf and uhf well after testing it out on ham frequencies it gets 10 watts and on uhf it gets roughly 7 watts sometimes what you pay for does matter now, i don't like saying it often as i have many radios that i keep no matter what as you can see by my assortment of radios like Baofengs and Midland and other such like that. But from what I can tell, this will be a return. I'm going to play around with it a little bit longer. But I have to say, QIT, you didn't do very good. If you're interested to know all the specs of it, after I got it booted up, just so you know, this does produce minimum 50 watts. I know that for a fact. The QIT KT980 Plus on 144 to 148 produces roughly 10 watts of power. Very underpowered. On MERS, it produces an overpowering 28 watts, but still not the stated 50. On the weather channels, it produces 58 watts, which means that is where the power is centered, which is not useful as broadcasting on those frequencies is illegal. On UHF ham radio, it produces roughly 10 watts. And on GMRS, it produces a whopping 7 watts. Underpowered, completely, not at all, 50 watts. QIT, this will be a return.